Yeah, we'll set it at 30, see how it goes from there. There we go. All right. Ugh. Where the fuck were we? <laughs> Yes, we were on round three, I guess. <clears throat> Existing to exploit. Choosing prosperity. That deed was savage. But it was true. What is one in the abyss of death? Sweet release from life. Why am I outside? Give me just a second. I forgot to actually set up things. Uh... Don't need that now. We actually need a uh, where third. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. I forgot about this. All of a sudden, the hairs on the back of my neck rise. I'm overtaken by an eerie chill. I don't even have time to call my servant or to brace myself. I'm flung backward as if by an invisible hand. There's a wall behind. I'm going to crash. Where am I? Instead of colliding with a wall, I suddenly find myself in unfamiliar surroundings. My head's spinning trying to keep up, but it seems like I was some somehow teleported elsewhere. Wait, I'm getting deja vu. This is the Colosseum that was used twice. The details are different, but the framework is the same. Is this real? If this really is the Colosseum, there must be an enemy nearby. My thoughts freeze and my breath hitches when I realize this. Man, I didn't realize that they kind of like foreshadow him that early. When I look around, I see a sinister man with piercing eyes who's wearing clothing that looks aflame. I go numb with fear. He intends to kill me. That much is unmistakable. He's like death personified. No, trust me, we'll get him much later in Fate Grand Order. I've only heard of assassins, but I've no doubt he is one. If I take my eyes off him for one second, I'm a goner. I mean, that's your mistake. Y you'll be dead either way. Human life is fragile. Even if you are a magus, you look like a meat puppet to me. The fuck is all that noise? Fucking guineas outside, I swear to god. I've grown tired of strangling... Cormorants. More once. For once, I wanted to feel what I was doing. Want to feel something, boy? Oh, a spirited one. I'm glad you came this way, boy. What a shame we've run out of time. The system's limits saved your life. Hopefully, 
We'll fight again someday. I'm looking forward to it. I realize I'm standing where I was originally, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Things are still pretty bizarre. Even though the hallway looks like normal, there's an ominous weight to the air. How did someone like you manage to evade that? Without a sound, the black-clad teacher appears just a few meters in front of me. Sinister eyes from under a mop of black hair direct a piercing gaze my way. I thought you were small fry. Maybe you have a superior servant or hidden abilities. Either way, you managed to survive the demon's fist. The man's aura changes. It sharpens, honing into a point as if it were a wicked blade, one directed straight at me. It's ideal to dispatch you here. He's looking at my neck. A bead of sweat drips off my chin. He takes a step toward me. Ah, uh, you're the psychopath who's been killing masters after school. I thought so. The girl in red clothes appeared out of a classroom where none should have been. Ren Tosika? My reputation precedes me. I see the intelligence network of the Haraway Foundation has been busy. Although, I'm pretty hard to miss. I mean, you said it, not me. You tell me, Julius Belkisk Har Haraway, since you're from the Foundation's counterterrorism unit. Kuzuki answers to the name of Julius and smiles thinly. It's risky of you to save an enemy. Do you intend to make this boy your ally? How absurd. They've got nothing to do with this. In fact, why haven't you killed them yet? I'll be laughing when you end up stabbed in the back, terrorist. A cruel smile plays over his lips as he continues walking toward the end of the hallway. He sends a cold glance my way. So, you are called Vlad. I don't know how you picked that up. Nobody said my name, but sure, yes, that is technically my name. Is chat just broken? Am I not getting anything? Eh, whatever. I shall remember this. His predatory pupil still trained on me. The man disappears into the walls as if melting away. So, he's been hacking the system's character profiles to his heart's content, I see. With an unscrupulous enemy like that, I better be on my guard at all times in the school. The girl starts talking to herself after the man has faded away. Then she turns toward me. She has a cold look in her eyes, not all that different from the look in that Julius's eyes. What's with that look? I didn't come to save you. I wanted to say hello to the Harway's assassin. You're my enemy, too. It's not like I care if you died now. Right. I'm impressed you made it past the second round. I didn't think you had it in you. I mean, you've kind of had a rough time of it. That's why I... Uh, what am I saying? Later, then. Be careful not to lose the life that just saved... That just got saved for you in the third round. Okay. The girl smiles briefly before rushing off. I'm good. Lament death. There is no shame in mourning. If death is inevitable, and strife fosters it, then hate fighting. Accept death and quell the fighting. Father Riku.
The next combatants will be announced on the second floor bulletin board. Hang on just a second. Well, unfortunately, it seems like I'm going to have to stop early due to bullshit. So, sadly, that's where we're going to have to end things off here. We'll save state here just so we can pick it back up later. But, yes. We will have to pick this back up at another time. So, thank you all for the brief time that you were out here with me. And, until, and as always, until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.